morning. Now that you've reviewed how to basically slide vectors to get the result of all the applied, then use the rule of the three-fourths rule, I'm going to go through that exam one more time in real time um, in AutoCAD just to show you you can be an exact and fast as well. And I'll do this as well in SketchUp. So what I'm going to do is I open up a drawing and I'm going to XREF in. We're going to see why you might want to use XREF so things don't get clumpy basically when you try to move things around. I'm going to attach a drawing and that drawing has been exam reactions I think is what I've been floating around. Exam reactions quick, your exam reactions drawing. Remember you bring things in at zero 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 unless you got a reason to do it otherwise. Many of you you'll see one for insertion point. Sorry, I'm going to try that again. Let's see if it came in or not. Zoom E. There they all are. So I'm going to start. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to draft over the top. But if you think about when I'm drafting over the top of these, I would really like the color to be different. So I'm going to say layer here at this point, And I will want you to look as I do this, right? I'm going to have access to the ones underneath, but I'm going to be sketching over the top. So I'm going to kind of grab, see if I can pull this up. And what I'm going to do here is go to my XREF here. So my exam reactions, I'm grabbing all the exam reactions all the way through from there to there, holding the shift key. I'm going to go ahead and change all of their colors to kind of a grayish one, right? And I'm going to hit that. Now I've kind of got, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just draft over the top um, and my correctish layers, and I'm going to start with this. I am going to turn the ortho off. I've got the object snap, object track, and line weight on. Shift right click. I'm going to try to do this with intersection and extension. I'm not sure about apparent intersection there. Now it may or may not work. And so I'm going to draft over the top, again, real time. You don't need to do this, but it'll keep, it'll, it'll keep you from you make you move things around possibly and not screw things up later in terms of looking at it. So remember, right click, I'm going to draft over the right thing in the right layer. So force concentrated, I'm going to draft a line from the end point there to the, you see it right away, it's trying to grab correctly and it is. Now what I drafted, what line I was on, I was on force concentrated. So I'm going to hopefully do that this is the correct time. I'm force concentrated line from the end point here to the end point here. So I've got that force concentrated. Pretty interesting that that still goes below the leader of the XREF. Don't know why, but now I'm going to go to my line of force and I'm going to do an X line. My X line is at the end point. You got to be very careful because you can't grab the end. I'm going to make it straight up by hitting the F8. Why do I do that? Well, I can now extend this thing through. Let's see if I can do that without using an extension or just using the extension. I can left click, left click, take this here, spacebar, move. I've got to turn the F8 ortho off. You see how it should get to a point here where it's extending. Now, when it's grabbing here, you see how it's, I'm not sure in all reality what it's extending to. As I go here with the extension through, it should grab to that point, and there you have it. And that can be a little bit tough, but now I can once again go line G of that, GOF. I'm going to do a line from the end point here to the end point there. Now, in all reality, that should probably be an X line, but it doesn't need to be sometimes, right? So you have now, you have the point of concurrency of all three of your forces, even though you don't see one of them coming through there. Now what you can do is you can pick a direction home. I'm going to come home this way, and I'm going to go ahead and left click, left click space bar, C for copy, end point there. And now I can now sketch in my two reactive forces, force reaction, I want to do that. I'm just going to go ahead and change my layer now to force reaction, and my force reaction is going to be, at one point, it's going to be the end point of this to the intersection of that. My other one is going to be from the end point of this 
to the intersection of that. I've got all that. Now, of course, I can just go ahead and move them back. Spacebar, move, C for copy. It's a nice idea to keep those down there so you can see them back again later. End point there. That is one of your reactions. And of course, left click, left click, spacebar, C for copy to the end point. Again, that's your other reaction. And in fact, you can then at that point, if you want, you could get rid of some of these other lines. But in fact, I didn't do my copy, so I'm going to move that back. Left click, left click, spacebar, C for copy. And of course, the arrowheads will help if you make those blocks to start. So you've made one solution. This one here, we'll go ahead and get rid of these lines because we're in one drawing. Right? That is the first solution. The second solution, once again, your line of force, you see it's right there. You want to go to, right away, geometry line of force, X line, vertical, through the end point of that. Now what do you have? Well, you know this line of force, you know this line of force. You need to slide the vector, right? So you're going to draft force applied. And this one is one you're supposed to kind of be able to kind of figure out that all of the Y is on the right and all of the X is on the left. That apparently obvious to the casual observer thing. You've got that there. Now, of course, you're going to left click it. Left click space bar. See for copy, and you're going to kind of take it all the way down to there, right? And that one's going to get confusing if you leave it up there so you can get rid of that. Now you've got a direction home, and you just need another direction home, so you need to go basically X line, and that's a horizontal one. X line from the end point there, and F8, this program. So I've got it because I've got the recorder on, so I've got to say X line vertical, and my vertical X line is going to be through the end point there and of course I like that to be on the correct layer which basically is a for all intents and purposes not so much a line of force but this force goes from here to here you now draft your force reactions you go over the top from the end point there to the end point there not to the end point to the intersection and then to the intersection again once again one of them this one here, left click, left click space bar, C for copy. That is the one that's the reaction there. And this one here, left click, left click space bar, C for copy to the end point there. Let's see if we can do the next one in the two minutes that's remaining. That's your second solution right there. The next one here, that one's a little bit tougher, but I'm going to tell you that sense here of drafting a rectangle over the top. Maybe even making it a region, but very list saying LI list that is 9.8, then drawing a line from basically you should go from the centroid out of habit, but from the midpoint going down at 9.8 angle 270. Now you've got two of those. Now that should be what? In all realities, that should be a, it's way up here, a distributed applied. So that's an applied force. Now you're to the point where you've got to slide two vectors together. How can we do that? Watch. Probably not going to be able to do it. What we want to do is go right now, draft a line, force applied. Force was, you know, applied or concentrated from there to there. You're drafting over the top. Now you should be able to move these two up. Let's see if we can do it just using the snaps. I'm going to left click, left click, space bar, C for copy. I'm going to extend that up. I'm going to extend this up. And it should find it. So right there you have that force. You can kind of get rid of that one now. This one. You've added this force down, and this one then can be shifted up, but you don't need to. You can left click, left click, space bar, C for copy, just to keep it straight, end point there. And now what you have is then is a resultant of those two. So you go ahead and draft your resultant by going from a line here, from the end point there to the end point there. 
right? At that point now, if you think about it, the last line of force you need, you're going to offset through. You need that reaction force. The reaction force goes through the, I guess we'll try the quadrant of that circle there, right? So now what you have is this force, you remember it came all the way down. It's going to move down to the point of concurrency. Left click, left click space bar. You don't need to move. You're going to move it to that intersection. Then, of course, you have a one last line of force that goes from here to there. We'll pick that up in a second. Thanks for listening.